nested design or hierarchical design is the basic to many upper level uh, or advanced uh, statistical design of experiment for example a split plot design repeated measure uh, they all some kind of nested so let me explain what is nested design nested design or hierarchical design is basically when um, the crossed does not make sense for example um, the instructors are nested under particular school so i'm teaching in a particular school right now so it doesn't make much sense what if i do if i would be in another school like that and a lot of would be so uh, interaction in that case does not make sense so the cross factor really does not crossed effect does not really exist for example this is a factor a this is factor b a B interaction is not possible for an ST design. Similarly, um, if a bass comes from supplier X, um, then it has these distinctive characteristics because it didn't come from supplier Y. So again, the cross does not make sense. Now, ponds, I have a bunch of ponds, and then um, the species are living in these ponds, and then I want to see how they are doing in terms of health-wise. So they're kind of nested under ponds. Now, I want to see the living standards in a particular county or in different counties or different places in a state. So states, um, the counties are uh, kind of uh, nested under a state so these are some examples of nested uh, design now uh, the model is written as this so the alpha i is the effect of this uh, first level or first hierarchy schools effect of schools of somebody's learning uh, effects of suppliers of material quality alpha is effects of pond quality effects of state on living standards and then effects of a school like this beta uh, j which is nested in uh, a so this is basically factor a effect this one is factor b and then this is how it's written because the interaction doesn't make sense the model does not contain the interaction typically typically this factor b is a random factor think about this the institution i work for has about 800 instructors so to test whether how these instructors instructors are doing in terms of teaching their students um, someone really need, don't need to take all the 800 instructors and test how they're doing you know they can just simply uh, take randomly maybe five six instructors and see how they're doing then they can they can actually predict how the school is doing in general uh, so this instructor factor is random same thing the batches Hundreds of batches are coming from suppliers. We really don't need to test every single batches. It doesn't even make sense. So we can randomly pick few batches and see how they are doing. Now, same thing for a species. We don't have to test the entire all species living in that pond to see the quality of the pond. So we can simply just pick a few species and see randomly pick features so uh, you can see this uh, factor b is typically random whether this is random or fixed or just nested you know uh, random or fixed we can determine the expected mean square so that actually we need to find that expected mean square to do the correct F statistics. Now check my other videos on expected mean square to how to calculate uh, how to get the correct F statistics, which is very simple as soon as you know whether factor A is random or fixed. Now A is typically fixed. Maybe we're testing only five school or only we have say uh, three suppliers or we are testing only five points. We have five points here and then um, states maybe if you are interested in entire united state you you want to generalize the conclusion randomly picks few states this could be random as well or if you just only interested in two states then this is not so we know how to determine random or fixed and then we can um, uh, find the expected mean square and find the appropriate f statistics now let me show you a little bit more complex nested design or staggered design or m state design for example there could be three state nested design so instructor is nested under a school 
and then each instructor teaching few courses so courses are instructed um, nested under instruct instructor something like that same thing can happen batches are nested in suppliers and then maybe if we are doing say two measurements in each batches so then these measurements are also nested similar thing the school districts are nested in counties counties are nested in states like that so in that case the uh, there is no uh, interaction effect so the model only contains the effect of a effect of b and then effect of c factors uh, in this case a uh, school so and then instructor and then gamma would be courses like that next one is a combination of uh, crossed and nested so this is called partially nested so same example of a school and instructor we know that the instructors are nested in a school uh, so this is my factor a school is factor a instructor factor b and then this is factor C. Now factor C is that uh, let's say we are testing um, the school effect, instructor effects, also how the students are taking the classes. Are they taking face-to-face -face, uh, traditional or uh, hybrid or online or etc. any other form. So uh, it makes perfect sense to ask these questions whether I would take this class from this university online or traditional. So the interaction makes sense. Same thing, imagine that all instructors are qualified to teach any of these uh, methods. So then what if I take this class with this instructor online or hybrid like this? So in that case, the interaction makes sense as well. So if you write that model, alpha i is the effect of a school, beta j effect of instructor, and that is nested in the school. And then method of instruction, which is not nested, it's just a uh, regular factor. So alpha gamma can be crossed and also beta gamma can be crossed however alpha beta cannot be crossed because they're nested and then you have the experimental error now if one of these factor is random for example instructors typically random so if this is random this is fixed and then this is fixed then you know how to develop that expected mean square and how to find the correct f statistics so i think that's it about the partially nested nested and hierarchical design